It's my great pleasure to present this magnificent award to two very extraordinary people. Um, and I'm not even going to bother with my notes anymore, because why would I after listening to all these other people? It would, it, I think I'm just going to say, speak from my heart. And I remember in 2006, hearing on the news about the roadside bomb and, and what happened to, to Bob Woodruff. And I remember following that with a great deal of, of sadness and, and fear, thinking how awful this must be, and that none of us would begin to understand the ordeal of what Bob and Lee and his family and their family and friends and everybody must have, have gone through with this, an ordeal that again, I cannot uh, begin to imagine. And something that changed their lives forever has caused them to change our lives forever because of their great efforts through the foundation that they started, the Bob and Lee Woodruff Foundation, and their caring and advocacy of of what traumatic brain injury is about and how it can change your personality and your cognitive functioning and all these things and it's not your fault and what we need to do about our men and women when they come home from the military, from the wars, and what to do with our veterans that, you know, one of the things, and you guys really did not do a good job with the brain bank footage. I it was not lost on me as I watched people hiding their faces when the brain was being dissected. Um, and I will tell you that there was a, one of the things I noticed in the morgue early on when I began doing research there a million years ago is the brain does not look like what it does. And when you look at this amazing organ that we have, like the symptoms of mental disease, it's very unreadable. You look at this thing and you go, how do you do any of these things that you do? And when it's injured or has some sort of insult to it, whether it's from chemistry or a trauma, it, it doesn't make sense to us either. How can someone's behavior so dramatically change because they got hit on the head or had some other sort of trauma? And the fact is, to stigmatize this and to punish people for it and to discriminate against them or to have them come home or to go out into the public place and not give them the sort of, of help that they need is a tremendous crime. And Bob and Lee have done so much to change this. And that is why that we are honoring them tonight. And it is my great honor and pleasure to present to them the Bud Schulberg NKM2 Hope Award to thank you for your extraordinary courage, your generosity, your unfailing energy that you continue to demonstrate daily for trying to leave the world better than you found it. And I hope the people in the military in particular appreciate the wonderful thing you're doing for them. So where is this beautiful thing? Because I've been warned already that it weighs a ton. <laughs> and that if I drop it, I'm in serious trouble. But look, this is, um, I think this belongs in anybody's galaxy. And you better get up here fast, because I can't hold it for long. So come up here. 